come to the final three episodes of the season, and looking back, I noticed a very interesting connection between what the characters on the show were going through and what the fans of the show were going through. Season two has really explored how quickly and easily people will believe something is true simply because they are afraid that it might be true. Throughout the final episodes of this season, people came across all these rumors that the show was canceled already. Why did we believe all these rumors? Because we were afraid that they might be true. Now, I for one didn't really believe these rumors, but I certainly was afraid that they were going to kill off a certain character that I've really come to love on this show. And so, before each of these last three episodes, I had to go through a certain procedure to ensure my survival. similar to the characters on this show. Many times this season they believed that something was true simply because they were afraid it might be true. And this episode is no exception. Sarah decides that they're going to move out of this house, not just because she's afraid of her cancer, but also because she's afraid of Cameron and Derek. You didn't tell Derek and Cameron we were coming here, did you? I don't trust him anymore. Neither should you. And that distrust, fueled by fear, has dangerous consequences. Speaking of fear, let's talk about this scene. Well, here we get some good visual effects, some good audio effects, some pretty creepy background music, another solid performance from Garrett Dillahunt, but I think what really makes this scene is the choice of having Savannah Weaver present when this happens. If it were Ellison, it wouldn't have quite the threat. I also think that Mackenzie Smith did a really good job in this scene, as well as the series itself. But I digress. The really important thing about this scene is that it helps to move along the Zero Corp storyline. The entire time I thought that John Henry was supposed to become Skynet. You can imagine my surprise when at the end of the episode we learned about the real Skynet. This is just one of many storylines in this episode. Now this one was definitely rushed, I agree with that. On the other hand, there's a lot of meat to it. In each storyline, there's something very important happening. And sometimes I think of the things I've done, maybe I've sped up the date. A scene like this really helps us to generate sympathy for Sarah. And that's very important because at this point of the series, the character has become very difficult to like. And I apologize if I offend anyone, but honestly, I think that she's become a self-centered, self-righteous f***ing bitch. Meanwhile, Derek and Cameron have their own problems to worry about. Sarah said both of us here. Yeah. Get your away from me. Or from you. I'm sorry for your loss. What? I'm sorry for your loss. What loss? The child you fathered with Jesse. 
The one she was carrying aboard the SS Jimmy Carter. A lot of great dialogue here. Why'd you tell me that now? You put John in danger when you lied about Jesse. Sarah nearly lost her child. You've lost a child. You won't make that mistake again. You knew her. I met her once. She never told me that. It seems she never told you a lot of things. The most emotionally powerful moments in this episode came from the scenes between John and Charlie. Even though these two were separated for a long time, they've now gone through a very similar experience, and that brings them closer than ever. Let's get there. What kind of explosives did you break the beach with? Then we come to this scene right here. Talk about a plot twist. What is it? What do you see? Well, the good news is the lump inside your breast isn't a tumor. Then what is it? It's a, a cystic mass. It, it's not that unusual. Great. It's great. But what is unusual is what the cyst is formed around. It's a, a piece of metal, a tiny wire. Better. He did the right thing by telling me. Thank you. I like how we got that little moment of reconciliation just before they bring in more danger. That was a cool move, Cameron, but this this has got trap written all over it. You you gotta wait a minute. What am I saying? She's a Terminator! It's not like they would know what to do with a Terminator. Well, it's not like they know how to take out her ship. Right side of the head. Got it. Where'd you get this diagram? Your brother. You don't say. Derek! Do something! He's tied up right now. Cameron! Do something! She's deactivated. Buckethead! Do something! What the hell am I gonna do? Jump through the screen? Wonder if wearing this thing for too long affects my brain cells. Stop. 